Hey guys, it's Justine, and today I am so excited because the new ECG feature on the Apple Watch was recently released, and this is something that I've been waiting for for, I guess, since the Apple Watch officially came out. This is the Apple Watch Series 4, and this is only available on the Series 4. I'm sure you guys saw many of the videos that I did about the Apple Watch, but if you didn't, I'll put a link in the description and an annotation if you want to check that out. I posted that a while ago, but today I'm going to go through and show you guys how to activate the ECG on your Apple Watch, but the first thing that you have to do is make sure that your Apple Watch and and your phone is updated to the latest OS. So once you've updated your watch and your app, go into the heart and this will take you into the heart health and this will have a little setup screen. I already did it. So yours may look a little bit different. You wanna turn on the irregular rhythm so that will notify you if your watch detects anything that's irregular. I also have on my high heart rate, my low heart rate. You can go in here and you can view your recorded ECGs in health. This will all be recorded inside of the health application. So here it is. I've only taken one ECG so far when I set this up this morning. So I wanted to show it to you guys again and show you how it works. You'll install the ECG app onto your watch face and there it is <laughs> right there. It's definitely recommended that you do sit down and you kind of stay relaxed while you're doing this. So I'm gonna sit down um, under my table. I'm gonna give you a demo of what it does look like over here, but just know that I'm sitting down doing this. And there is my reading right here, and this automatically gets sent to my iPhone. You can add symptoms or just click done. And then over here on my phone, you can see that the ECG recording is available. So when we open that up, I can get the reading of what my ECG was, and I can export this as a PDF to my doctor. I don't have a doctor. I should probably get one so that I can send them my PDFs. It's also cool because it shows you what the device was that was reading it, Apple Watch, which watch version. I just wanted to show you guys this and how to set it up in case you were curious because I did have a few people that questioned how to set this up on Twitter and I'm pretty excited because the Apple Watch for me has changed the way that I track my fitness and it's one of those things that you definitely don't need to have it, but for me, I feel like the Apple Watch has motivated me. It has kept me accountable for the fitness goals that I've set. Even though I haven't set specific goals, just doing these competitions with my friends has made me realize that, okay, everybody else is moving today. Justine, you better get your butt up and go do things. And this past year, fitness has been a huge part of my life because I really feel like I needed to get my life together. There was a point in time last year where I probably felt the absolute worst that I've ever felt in my entire life. And I knew that something had to change and a lot of things changed. And as crazy as that sounds, the Apple Watch sort of did play a part in that. And you know, it doesn't have to be the Apple Watch for you. It could be a Fitbit. It could be anything that sort of keeps you accountable. But for me, it was the Apple Watch and my friends and just a lot of different changes that I had to make. And sometimes those changes are the most difficult thing that you have to do, but it's one of those things that you know that you need to do and you just gotta go and do it. Get your butt up off the couch, go outside, start doing some activities and just keep moving. And I know it's crazy, but to say that the Apple Watch changed my life, it was a catalyst for sure. I mean, I was the one that had to put those actions into motion, but the Apple Watch kept me accountable and it is really great to go back and see where I started from, like how difficult some of these hikes were for me in the beginning. So for me, being able to quantify all of those things is really amazing. So hopefully that this can inspire you either get an Apple Watch or to get something or even just to get moving. Like you don't have to have a device to do it, but it does really feel great to be able to actually see the numbers in front of you and be like, yeah, I'm actually making progress. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see me make. I am starting some new stuff in 2019, which is actually crazy. It's coming up soon. So I'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite videos of mine? And hopefully I can make some more of those. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, click like and leave me a comment below and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. And don't worry, if you didn't make those New Year's resolutions this year, there's always next year and it doesn't have to happen in the new year. It can happen anytime. You just have to have the will and the motivation to make those changes. So that's it. I'm just, I'm just talking at this point. <laughs> My sweater has holes in it. I paid extra for these holes. That's how you know there's a problem.